Hello guys, if your computer or laptop often lags or runs really slow on Windows 10 or 11, you're not alone. It's a common issue these days. Even people with brand new devices are reporting the same problems. But don't worry, in this video, I'll show you some simple and effective fixes to boost your system's performance. Stick around and by the end, you should see a noticeable difference. So without any further delay, let's jump right in. The very first thing I recommend is to check your system's resource usage. Right click on the taskbar and select Task Manager. Once it opens, click on the Performance tab from the left hand menu. Now, take a moment to observe the usage of your CPU, memory and disk usage. If any of these are consistently running high, you'll definitely need to follow the optimization steps I'll show later in this video. However, if everything looks normal, and you're still facing lag or slow performance on Windows computer, then I suggest trying a clean boot. Here's how to do it. Click on the Windows search and type msconfig. Select system configuration from the results. In the window that opens, go to the services tab. Check the box that says hide all Microsoft services at the bottom. Now click on disable all. Next, switch to the startup tab and click on open task manager. In Task Manager, go to the Startup App section from the left-hand menu. Disable all third-party applications from starting up with Windows. This includes apps like Stream, Microsoft Edge, OneDrive and others. You can disable the app by right-click it and select Disable. Right now it is showing Enable option because I have already disabled it. But if you didn't disable it, then it will show you Disable option. Once you've disabled them all, close Task Manager, click Apply, and then hit OK in the System Configuration window. You may be prompted to restart your computer. Go ahead and do that. After the reboot, check to see if your system's performance has improved or not. Once you've done that, if your computer starts working perfectly, it means the issue was caused by one or more installed applications or programs. To fix this permanently, you'll need to uninstall any faulty or unnecessary programs that you don't use. However, if the problem still persists, the next step is to disable memory integrity. Here's how to do. Right click on the Windows icon and select Settings. From the left hand menu, click on Privacy and Security. Now select Windows Security, then click on Device Security. In the new window, look for Core Isolation and click on Core Isolation Details. Here, you'll see an option called Memory Integrity. Memory Integrity is a security feature in Windows 11 that helps prevent malicious code from being injected into high security processes. While it's great for protection, it can also consume a lot of system resources and may slow down your PC, especially if you're into gaming, where it can even lower your FPS. So, if you're focused on performance and want to resolve the lagging issues, you should disable the Memory Integrity option. Once you've disabled Memory Integrity, the next step is to tweak your privacy settings to boost performance even further. Go back to Settings and once again click on Privacy and Security. Under Windows Permissions, click on General and disable all the unnecessary permissions listed there. Next, do the same for the speech. Then go back, click on inking and typing personalization and disable it. Also do for diagnostics and feedback. Then scroll down to app permissions. Here you'll find several features you might not be using, such as location, microphone, camera, radios and other, we mostly don't use it. If you don't use your PC for location-based services, go ahead and turn this off. Camera, if not in use, disable to save resources. Most users don't need these on a desktop or laptop, so it's safe to disable them. These are rarely needed on a PC, so go ahead and turn them off too. Once you're done optimizing the privacy settings, there's one last thing you should do. From the left-hand menu, click on System, then go to Notifications. Disable all unnecessary notifications or simply turn on Do Not Disturb to prevent pop-ups from slowing you down or distracting you. 
These changes can help reduce background activity and improve overall system performance. Now go back to the main settings menu and scroll down to storage. Click on it and here you'll find the storage sense option. I recommend turning storage sense off. Although it helps clean up space automatically by running in the background, it also uses system resources and can slow down your computer. Instead, it's better to manually delete temporary and unwanted files. Here's how. Under the storage section, click on Temporary Files. Windows will scan and list all the categories of temp files you can remove. Select the ones you don't need, such as previous Windows installations, recycle bin contents, delivery optimization files, etc. Uncheck anything you want to keep. Then, click on Remove Files. This will clean up your Windows storage by getting rid of unnecessary and junk files. Next, in Settings, go to the left-hand menu and click on Personalization. Then, select Colors, and you'll see an option for transparency effects. If you don't need visual effects when minimizing windows or using apps, it's a good idea to turn off transparency effects. This can help improve performance by reducing unnecessary graphical load. Now, from the left-hand menu, click on Apps, then go to Installed Apps. Here, you'll see a full list of all the applications currently installed on your device. Take a moment to carefully go through them and uninstall anything you don't use. This can include both pre-installed bloatware and third-party apps you may have added over time. For example, if you don't Microsoft Todo, feel free to uninstall it. The same applies to news, which most users don't need. If you're not using the Xbox Live, you can remove that too. Apps like Maps, Clipchamp, and even OneNote or Skype, if you don't use them, can also be uninstalled. These applications often run processes in the background, consume system resources, and take up valuable storage space. Removing them helps boost performance and keeps your system running more smoothly. Next, open your Windows search and type sysdm.cpl and press enter. This will open the system properties window. From the top menu, click on the advanced tab. Under the performance section, click on settings. By default, it will be set to let Windows choose what's best for my computer, which enables all visual effects and animations. While this may make your system look more visually appealing, it can significantly impact performance, especially on lower end devices. To improve performance, select the third option, adjust for best performance. This will disable all animations and effects. Then, you can selectively enable a few options that enhance usability without sacrificing too much performance. Recommended ones include animate windows when minimizing and maximizing, show thumbnails instead of icons, smooth edges of screen fonts. Once you've selected these, click on apply, then OK to save the changes. Now, the next thing I'd recommend, especially if you're using Windows 11 Pro Edition, is to disable Hyper-V if you're not actively using any virtualization services. To do that, click on your Windows search and type Turn Windows Features On or Off. From the search results, click on it. In the list of features, scroll down and look for Hyper-V. Once you find it, simply uncheck the box next to it, then click OK and apply. Windows will make the changes and may prompt you to restart your computer. You can do that later if needed. Next, let's clear out some junk files to free up space and improve performance. Right click on the Windows icon, click on Run and type Temp, then hit OK. Once the folder opens, press Ctrl plus A to select all files, then press Shift plus Delete to permanently remove them. Click Yes, check any permission boxes if prompted, and skip any files that can't be deleted. After that, repeat the process by right-clicking the Windows icon again, clicking Run, and this time typing Percentage, Temp, Percentage, then click OK. Again, press Ctrl plus A to select all files, then press Shift plus Delete to permanently delete them. Confirm with Yes, click Continue, check any necessary boxes, and skip files that are in use. Once done, you can close the window and move on to the next steps. Finally, go ahead and restart your computer. After the restart, you should notice that the lagging and slow performance issues on your Windows 11 have been resolved. That's it for today. 
I hope you found the video helpful. If you did, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe before you leave. I'll see you in the next video.